First, install in Block Manager from Google Apps or Apple App Store. Choose your language settings and please tap Allow for all access settings for easy use. Enter the email and password information of your LG Installer account. If you have forgotten your login information for LG Installer account, please tap Reset your password. After logging in, if there is a recently updated firmware available, a download pop-up will appear. Click the Download button to update to the latest firmware version. The pop-up will automatically close once the firmware download is completed. To start commissioning, tap Direct Connection Battery, then tap Commissioning. When the commissioning process begins, you can scan the QR code using the camera function on your mobile device to check the SN information. Refer to the illustration for the QR code location, which may vary depending on the product. If the QR scan does not work, click the pen-shaped icon in the top right corner to enter the SN information manually. Once the serial number is scanned correctly, the according product information will appear. Next, select the inverter brand installed with the LG battery product, and then choose the corresponding inverter model. Next is the communication connection between the mobile device and the battery. Click Select SSID on the screen and choose the SSID starting with RMD XXX from the list of detected networks. Then, tap Connect the battery and proceed to the next step at the bottom of the screen to try to connect the device. Once the connection is complete, press the OK button to move on to the next step. If the device connection is completed, you can check the battery's FW version, and if there is a newer version available, you can update it. Once the FW check and update are complete, proceed to the next step, which is the internet connection stage. Select local internet connection, we find, and enter in the password. If you are using the LAN, Ethernet, DHCP, or static IP, type in all the configuration information currently. If you are installing battery units in parallel, check parallel to add the additional units and repeat the battery commissioning process one more time. Once all settings are complete, tap save and proceed to the next step at the bottom to move on to the next procedure. The local commissioning process is complete. Finally, review the installation summary information. And if there are no changes or issues, press the OK button to finish the process. Next is system registration. Tap the plus at the top right corner of the screen to create a new system. Please keep in mind that this process is mandatory for a guaranteed 10 years warranty. The first step is to enter the basic information. Update the system name and the owner's details, agree to the personal information terms, and then proceed to the next step. The second step is to enter the battery information. If you proceed with system registration, immediately after completing the commissioning process, the device information will be automatically uploaded. Finally, enter the installation environment information and take a photo of the installed product. Then, press the Save button at the bottom of the screen to register the photo successfully and complete the process. Once the system registration is complete, it will appear in the activated list. By selecting the system from the list, 
you can easily check the product status and installation information remotely via Manager Cloud.